I've been in public life for many, many years. I've been a lead lawyer in many large cases, big, big issues. And I can't think of one that is more important to me, more important to people generally than the Whitewood case. I just might have a problem that you understand. We all need somebody. Marriage equality, free from the marry, is nothing to fear and everything to celebrate. We were the first couple today to get a marriage license. It's just kind of a whirlwind when the decision came out. You know, we're, we're going through and reading the opinion, but the feeling, the feeling was almost like it was a weight lifted off my shoulders because it was like, okay, it's finally here. We can finally do the work that we need to do going forward. We're waiting for the opinion. We know it's coming down. We know it's coming down sometime after two o'clock. You know, two o'clock is passing and all of a sudden, you know, there it is. And I'm going, you know, is this it? This must be it. Um, let's get it open as soon as possible. Um, a few of our clients were there. There was some media there. There were a bunch of ACLU supporters there in addition to the lawyers on the case. And so, you know, to have people gather around, I was reading from the opinion to everybody so that everybody would get the news at the same time. And so that was, that was a big moment. No appeal! No appeal! No appeal! It's energizing to work on a case like this. It's energizing to work on, on something so important um, and that has such an impact on people's lives. Um, and that, you know, that has sort of helped to reinvigorate um, me in my in my practice in general, just that I feel um, more uh, more awake, more active, uh, having had the chance to work on this. The day that we won on, on May 20th was was an amazing relief, I think, for everybody. But I have to say that something that that really I always remember about the case is the day that we launched the lawsuit on July 9th, 2013, in Harrisburg. And at that moment, it felt like for our clients that they finally had somebody who was speaking on their behalf. Uh, these are folks who've been at the margins of society, you know, their entire lives. They've been told that you're not good enough uh, for this right, you're not Harrisburg, equal in this respect. And on that day, they stood up in, in Harrisburg and chins were held high and they had people standing with them, including myself. And uh, it, it really felt like for them that that day, or for us, for that day, we really helped um, uh, bring them into the fold. Marriage equality, free from the marry, is nothing to fear and everything to celebrate. I'm so proud of what's happened in, in Harrisburg, and I can't say enough. And thank you to all the staff of ACLU and and Hangley because they they kept on saying, uh, "We're so proud of your courage." They were holding our hands the whole time, and it was really great. Ed and I got married in Maine almost, uh, it was a year ago, uh, because we never thought this day would ever happen. And we are really thrilled that it now is true. The reason that I kind of got involved in the case from the beginning was, I mean, I've been practicing for 20 years now. 
all in family law. But in the 20 years that I've been practicing, I have represented a number of clients in second parent adoptions, lesbian and gays who have started a family who want to legalize their family in some way. So I've been working with these couples for over 20 years in creating their families, but I've also represented a lot of them in custody disputes and uh, separation issues, dealing with their property dissolution. So I've kind of seen it from both ends, and I've also seen it, I've seen the ways that gays and lesbians have been impacted as a result of not having same-sex marriage. I am the widow, at least I became legally so today. I lost Mary Beth uh, after 29 years. We raised a great family. Get out there, keep fighting, vote, 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 and uh, thank you. We are the first case to be filed after the Windsor decision, which then set a template in many respects for the complaints that were filed in many other states. Nice to meet you, marriage equality. You look good. My work on this case has shaped me as a lawyer in that, um, you know, we can really push things forward. A lot of what we did on this case, there was a lot of strategic thinking that went into how we shaped this case, and that applies to um, you know, work in this context, the civil rights context, work in business context, doing the best work we possibly can for all of our clients, um, you know, thinking three steps ahead, thinking when we're putting the case together about how it's going to come across, not just to the parties, but to the judge, to um, other people who have an interest in it and recognizing that we're not doing our work in a vacuum. What you're dealing with with our clients in the Whitewood case is we're talking about marriage and it's hard to think of a more personal, more vulnerable uh, point in somebody's life than deciding on who they're gonna live with, um, who they're going to spend the rest of their life with, who they love. And we're defending uh, you know, these people's constitutional rights and fundamental right to marry. And so it, it really brings everything that we do as a law firm into really sharp focus. The team in this case, Mark Aronchik, John Stapleton, Rebecca Melli, Dylan Steinberg, Helen Cassell, is a team that you would wish for in the most complicated business case or commercial case or any case. I mean, you would, if you were a client walking in here you, and you said, can I have that team, you would consider yourself immensely uh, happy and proud and satisfied that you had that group of lawyers. When I came to Hengli Aronchik, that was one of the big focuses for them was pro bono work. And again, I've been practicing for 20 years now and I've done a lot of pro bono work, so I was glad to see that when I was coming to this firm that I would be able to continue that work. Something that's really important when you take on a pro bono case, you're not just doing something for free. That doesn't mean you give uh, the effort that's commensurate with a zero dollar invoice. You give the same effort as if these uh, clients were paying your full freight bills. Okay, and so, um, and that's the way we attack cases when we bring them in here. So we don't just bring on a case so we can get some pro bono hours and, uh, you know, have some stats and we can submit to some place and, and get an award or something like that. It's, it's something deeper than that. Um, as a profession, we, uh, and members of a profession, we take that seriously. Today must be a beautiful day. We did this case in the most highly professional manner possible. Our firm does that in our litigation. We are famous for that. And we put everything into this case that we would in any other case. So we worked it over very carefully and strategically. We assembled the greatest experts we could find on all the issues we thought might be raised. We answered every question that the opposition has ever raised in any case about challenging why there should be same-sex marriages, about whether it's good or bad. But we answered them with facts, and we answered them with experts, we answered them with a professional sense. I want to express our full uh, and overwhelming gratitude to our lawyers at the ACLU and Hangley Aronshick and everyone else that partnered with them. Uh, we know that you were the ones who uh, made this fight possible and successful. Everywhere we go, that's my husband, that's my husband. We've always said that, but it's never, we never got it recognized. So we've always had to do everything separately. So now we get to do everything as a unit, legally and with less confusion, finally. It was a, a 
wonderful opportunity, sort of a once in a lifetime opportunity for me to work on an issue that is both very topical, very important today, but also one that, that I care about. In many respects, it's helped me pay it forward. It's really helped me pay it forward. It's, I'm going to be getting off the stage not too long from now, I suspect. But it's made me, or it's allowed me to say to the next generations, here's my, here's my gift, here's my effort, here's what I want for you. And so sort of carrying on, take it forward.